For Award of Merit, I chose Stomped Five by Pat Carr from Roanoke. And the complexity of this, this is a fabric piece. Um, and she's used hand embroidery, which is rather incredible. Um, and all of this is hand stitched. Um, but I liked the movement and the stump and, you know, the rings around the stump, thinking about the pattern and what the story is on this particular piece um, and just the way the textures of the pattern of fabric worked and unified with the piece and the stitching. Um, so I thought it was a really nice, it had a lot of movement, um, had good balance to it, um, and I felt like it was an overall successful composition and piece. Ravel Hamilton from Bedford. This particular piece uh, is monochromatic in scale uh, and color scheme, and I really liked some of the textures, the patterns, the light playing against the dark. Um, the overall composition and balance. This has the whole package of all of those elements and principles that I like to look at with a piece of art. If I were going through a checklist or a rubric of sort, um, this would have all the elements to it. So this one um, is my second choice for um, a merit award. My third choice for an award of merit is Ready for Snow. It's an oil by Mark Johnson in Lynchburg. Um, this piece intrigued me. The whole body of work intrigued me. However, this particular piece was more monochromatic with those touches of blue. Um, and it was a full range of those deep, dark blues. Um, and I just the look on his face kind of like he was totally worn out or getting ready for um, snow um, just was a nice piece it's nice and soft um, and he handled his brush strokes very well um, and i like that about this particular piece because they actually become part of the structure of the painting so for a judge's recognition um, of a body of work, I chose Stephanie Firestone's sculptures. Um, she had Adam, the torso, Stardust, which is this piece here, and Blue Ocean. Um, and they all just had a lot of different components um, sculpturally. This is very simplistic, yet it's got a lot of nice edge to it, good form um, and good shape with all of these. So I really enjoyed seeing how she formed her pieces and also her titles. Um, they really connected with the work. For judges recognition of body of work, um, and that was a body of three, I chose Lynn Cawthorn's work. Uh, they're, she's from Roanoke, Virginia. Um, collage pieces. Um, I just loved the color play. Um, they're a lot of fun, they're very light, they have a lot of pattern. There's a lot of different technique that's molded into these. Um, and they're just, they're just delightful. Um, and so the composition, her use of line and pattern and how she outlines certain areas to give more depth or to bring things forward, a lot of interplay. So I really enjoyed uh, that particular body of work. They look great together. I chose uh, third place is Red Nasturtiums by Beth Rogers. It's an acrylic piece. Um, Beth is from Roanoke. Um, and this particular piece really attracted me because of the pattern and all of the elements and um, principles that she used in this particular piece. There's a lot of variation um, with the pattern, with the line, with the color. Um, and when I stood further away from this, it still pulled me back in. Um, and I could imagine being in the garden and actually pulling these right up out of the garden um, or looking at them in the detail that is here 
Um, so I feel like she executed that particular piece very well. So Layers 2 is a stained glass piece by Shelley Luttrell in Bedford. Um, her work intrigued me because of the line, the pattern, the movement, the shape. Um, I feel like it was simple yet complex um, and it was very organic in nature. Um, and it just, that was another one that kept me coming back because I've been here a long time and I've watched the light shift and how um, the glass um, kind of shifted um, the colors. And I felt like some of the patterns and things were kind of intriguing. So that one kept pulling me back in as well. I kept coming back to South Highway number one, uh, which is also outside the old wooden house, uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, Robert Keith is the artist from Huddleston. And this particular piece drew me in. Um, number one, it's, it's extremely chaotic in its imagery, and that set me off in a sense of intrigue um, with the imagery. Um, and I looked at the color composition, uh, the, the structure, um, and all the qualities of the elements and principles on this as if I were going through a rubric. And that's how I did basically each piece. Um, I liked this one particularly because of the juxtaposition of the old and the new, um, the new wood, the new growth. Um, the trees in the background and the old uh, weathered house and then the decay in the foreground. So I felt like there was a little bit more involved with this piece that wanted me to know what the story was to it. Um, who lived there? Was this recent debris? Is it, did the storm come? And so that gave me um, a little bit more interest um, to the piece, um, and it kept bringing me back. I kept wanting to look at this a little bit more. Um, the pattern, the design, um, the elements, the line work um, was all pretty um, fantastical to me. For the Children's Awards, the best in show, um, I chose Love is Blind by Kenzie Branham. Uh, she's from Bedford, and this is really interesting because this is on black paper and it's with white charcoal. It's a chiaroscuro technique and it's difficult to approach. And she handled that very well. Um, so I was really impressed with that um, and decided first place for that particular piece. The second place award I gave to Everett Graham for his photograph, Snail's Pace. And it's a wonderful photograph, and I feel like he really captured the movement. I like his composition on this, and I especially love the texture. So it's a really nice photograph. I could look at that for a long time. Um, and third place, um, it's an acrylic piece by Gwendolyn Dunbar and it's exoskeleton. And that one I liked because of the color. Um, it's your basic primary color scheme and uh, just a really nice job with the, with the movement on that. Very simple yet complex. And so that one is third place. Um, awards of merit for um, this particular category, I've got Predator by the River down here, um, which is the tiger, and that is by Molly Jones. It's a really nice piece. That guy's really standing up at attention. Um, my other award of merit is for Pomegranate by Faith Sullivan. It's an oil painting, and it's really nicely done with good compositional strategies and you know playing those reds against each other um, is difficult to do um, and she pulled that off 
And then my other um, particular award of merit was um, an acrylic piece by Gwendolyn Dunbar and at C. Mellon. And I chose that because these make a really nice pair and they're all nice and consistent um, and it's really well done.